The processing saw the country's mega polytechnic, Te Pukenga, lose out on tens of millions of dollars after more than a thousand international students were unable to begin study in semester one. Political editor Mikey Sherman's obtained the exclusive figures as the government desperately tries to address crippling deficits among our tertiary providers. Across the country, institutes of technology and polytechnics have been hemorrhaging money. In 2019, it was so bad, Labour amalgamated all of them into one under the new name Te Pukenga. But in 2023, almost all were in a worse financial position, prompting the government to work on a reversal plan. Look, what we're doing is trying to put the sector into an, an, a, a situation where it's sustainable going forward. Obviously, $189 million annual deficit is not sustainable. With a deficit like that, revenue is key. International students were down 51% since 2019 due to COVID, but official information obtained by One News shows this year international enrolments were up by 71% with just over 2,000 applications. But slow visa processing meant 1,400 learners were unable to start in semester one, meaning tens of millions simply went down the drain. Te Pukringa have estimated that that cost them about 30 million for the year and that's disappointing because they're under financial pressure. That 30 million dollar loss prompting a telling off by the immigration minister. I said to uh, immigration officials my expectation is that we will not see this again. The government keeping a close eye on current enrolments. I've to told immigration with the peak that comes now for second semester I expect that we are uh, processing those visas in a timely way. It's a lot of money and um, you probably know that their deficit last year was significant, about $189 million. so it's not going to fix all the problems, but obviously it's really significant. The Prime Minister confirmed to One News Cabinet is in the final stages of signing off public consultation on the new model which could replace Te Pukinga. But no confirmation today from the Minister if even that would stop the institutions from bleeding out cash. Oh, look, it's too early yet. They're doing that work at the moment and I expect to see that over the coming months. The truth is you had institutions in great deficit previously. Uh, some of them, I believe, need to go broke. Money on the mind for ministers and our tertiary institutions. Mikey Sherman, One News.